to my channel, I have a bit of a different video today. I'm going to be sharing with you my current luxury handbag wish list. I'm pretty excited about this because I've started doing purse reviews every now and then when I purchase a new handbag. Not very many luxury ones because... I am still an enthusiast of luxury handbags, though I am not quite at the point in my life where um, I can buy them, but I definitely do my window shopping, let me tell ya. The Design District, Aventura Mall, Ball Harbor Shops, I've been to all of them, I'm drooling every time. So my luxury wish list is always ever-changing. These are the top 10 in my wish list at the current moment, but I'm also really into looking at vintage pieces and then secondhand pieces just because I feel like you can get a lot of super duper cute styles and the way that these luxury brands keep upping the price, I'm like, oh my gosh, it already was so ridiculous to begin with. I can't believe that they're raising the prices. So now more than ever, I've been looking at all of the pre-loved websites and I really feel like you can find such cool pieces. So for those, I can't put those in here. These are all like ones that are currently at the stores new that I have my eye on. Now keep in mind, I also do not have a very large luxury handbag collection. So a lot of these are just the basics. I don't see myself buying too many colorful, crazy pieces because if I'm going to spend my money on it. I tend to prefer a more classic silhouette, a more neutral color, good basics that I feel like are going to last a while. So let's go ahead and get into it. Just wanted to give that little bit of information since luxury handbags is not a common topic on my channel. So the first handbag at the current moment, if I had the money and I were to go shopping today, I think that this would be the handbag that I would purchase. This is the YSL Leather Hobo. Now, I go back and forth with what color I would get, so that's a situation where I'd have to go to the boutique and see, but right now, I'm really into the grayish brown color, but I also really enjoy the white. I just worry with the white handbag it getting dirty, but I love this. I feel like it's so chic. It's trendy, but I feel like it's also going to have a little bit of longevity as well. I love how simple it is and how it's gonna go with everything that I wear. And lately I've been really into the shoulder bag style. I feel like it's really comfortable. My only kind of thing that I'm not happy about with this, I believe there is not a zipper at the top. So if the bag falls, everything falls out. So this definitely needs to be an everyday bag where you don't have all of your junk in there but I typically prefer a smaller handbag and don't carry much with me because you guys I am under five feet tall a big bag can eat me up so I do enjoy a smaller bag so right now I would say this one is probably at the top of my wish list I just think it is so stunning and simple it comes in so many beautiful colors they just launched some new seasonal styles which are stunning the only thing is the price point you know this is not a like a low price point video this one is two thousand four hundred dollars and I do believe YSL just did some price increases so that's depressing but if I could buy a bag today I think it would be this one so lately a new brand that's kind of been catching my eye has been Celine I really love how their pieces look so this one I think is absolutely gorgeous it's actually I have a type because with what I've been attracted to lately it has been a style bag like this I love a flat bag and I love a shoulder bag. This covers both of those. So this is a Triumph shoulder bag in shiny calfskin black. They do also have it in a terracotta color as well, which almost looks a little pinky corally. I think I would go with the black. I also would like a Celine belt. I think they're just really classy looking pieces. And I fell in love with Celine when I went into a store and I, I love their shoes. I think they have the cutest sandals as well. But this one, it's hard to see in this photo, but the strap is like a shoulder strap, though I do believe you can expand it. And I just think it's a really simple, classic piece that's not going to go out of style. It looks really elegant. The price is $27.50, so a little bit more expensive than the YSL, but 
I think this one is so, so pretty. So I have my eye on that. Now this one I wouldn't necessarily say is on my wish list, but it's like kind of on my wish list. You know what I mean? I, I haven't seen it in person, so I'm not sure. But when I was looking at the Celine website, I came across this medium Ava chain in smooth capstan in the rice color, which is white. I love the look of white and gold together. I just worry that I get the items dirty, but I love a chain strap. This is also shoulder. It's also the same silhouette as what I've been showing you, especially with that YSL. And you'll see a couple others that look like this. So this is currently what I'm into. I just think that this is so simple and chic. It looks so clean to me. This is a stunning bag and I want to end this one. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, do I want this one over the YSL? Because it has a zipper at the top. And I love the gold ch Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, I like this one. It's growing on me the more that I talk about it. I don't know now if I would want the Triumph bag or this one. I want a Celine bag is the point of what I'm trying to tell you and I think that this one is beautiful. The price of this one is $24.50. Okay, so this one has also been on my wish list for forever. I've gone back and forth. I think, okay, I said if I had the money today, I'd probably get the YSL Hobo, but now I actually feel like this one might be the one that I would get. So this is from Prada. I really, really want a Prada bag. This is the re-edition 2005 Safiano leather bag. Now they also have a re-edition which is nylon and I used to want that one. It's a bit more affordable than this one, but I went into stores at Prada and I felt the nylon bags and I know they're very, very popular, but they keep getting a price increase. And at this point, I just don't think they're worth it for that price. They feel not cheap. They don't feel cheap to me, but they don't feel like what their price point is. I actually have a nylon bag from Kate Spade that I think is phenomenal. So I no longer want the nylon. But this leather one is stunning and I love the versatility in it. So I guess I would probably get this one over the Celine Ava that I just showed you because it does have a chain strap and is the same silhouette as the Ava. So yeah, I would definitely get this one over the Ava. Okay, see, I knocked that one off my list, but I have a very hard eye on the Safiano leather bag in cameo beige. This has been my number one for a while. The YSL Hobo did sneak in because I went into store and I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. But now I'm talking sense into myself. I like this one because it has a little bit more versatility. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can also wear it as a crossbody bag for a more sporty vibe because it does have that strap right there. And there's also like a cute little coin purse that I'd never use, but it's adorable. And I much prefer the leather. The Nylon just felt so cheap to me, but I feel like the leather is just going to hold up better. It makes it look more luxury. And I think this cameo beige color is stunning. So I'm backtracking on my YSL. This is the one I'd pick up if I had the money today. The price on this is $24.90 and I think it's stunning. I love the gold hardware. That's what I want. Also, what I tried on at Prada that made its way <laughs> to my wish list is this one right here. This is the Clio brushed leather shoulder bag. Now what I don't like about this one is it doesn't get fat enough, you know? You can only put thin things in here, but I think it is such a chic bag. I would get it in the white. I think the white would look nice and I feel like it should be easy to clean. I tried it on in store and I just thought it was so adorable and I always think about outfits now that I wear that would look good with this and let me tell you it's a lot something about this looks a little model of duty it looks like it um, elevates an outfit just makes you look stylish I'm not a super stylish person but I really really like this bag I think it looks so nice Price is $2,900, so I believe it's the most expensive one thus far that I've showed you. This list is somewhat realistic because I put a lot of pieces that I wouldn't say that I can afford because I can't, but with the exception of a few pieces, nothing is over like $5,000 or $3,000 really, but I really love the look of a Clio. It's not at the top of my list of what I must have, but I would like to own one in my lifetime if this stays on the list long enough. Okay, so this one is a really, really classic bag. I think I love it for the nostalgia, but always on my list, what has never been at the top, but has been on the list for a long time has been a Louis Vuitton. 
Vuitton Speedy. The Speedy 20, I think, would be the best size for me. It's just a bag that I always wanted, but I always find one that's better. But I love how this Speedy has this strap, and you can buy the strap separately. They have different patterns and whatnot, but the Speedy is such a classic when it comes to Louis Vuitton. The nostalgia comes in because I remember on YouTube it being huge like 10 years ago and I've always wanted one and then it went out of style and people was like, too many people have it. I feel like this also just holds a bunch of crap. You know, I love that because of how round it is, you can throw so much in there. The price on this is $2,030, which is very pricey, obviously, but anything around $2,000 and under makes me happy, <laughs> makes me feel like it could somewhat within reach. But yeah, so this one I'm not like super in love with, but it's always been on my wish list because it's such a classic bag. And I feel like it's really great casual bag that you can throw stuff into. And I also got really inspired because one of my favorite youtubers Kim Tai uses this bag and I think it's such a cute throw on and go run errands bag this is the Louis Vuitton easy pouch on strap and it's only 1620 <laughs> I can't believe I just said only, but it is, I think, the most affordable bag that I'm talking about today. It's obviously very small, but it's big enough to fit your phone, your keys, and your wallet. And I like the versatility this one has because you can wear it with the chain strap. You can wear it as a shoulder strap bag with the chain hanging off as like an extra detail, or you can wear it as a crossbody bag as well. I just love the versatility that it has. I really like this one. Looks wise, it's one of my favorites, but I have a bag that functions similar to this, so I don't know that I would end up with it, but I love the way it looks. If I were to get one color, I think I would get the cream. I love the look of white bag. I love that it has the Louis Vuitton imprint on there, but it's not super duper loud. It just looks like it would go with a lot. Honestly, I'm convincing myself that I like it even more. Like, I think I like it even more now after talking about it. And because it's under $2,000 by far, I like it even more now, and I like the versatility that it has. So honestly, this is a great starter luxury handbag, by the way. If you don't want to break the bank, <laughs> this is a good one to go for, but that one has been on my list for a while now. I thought pretty much Kim Tai sold it to me, so yes. Okay, so these next three bags are my wishful thinking wish list. <laughs> like, something very, very good would have to happen to me in order for me to purchase these. These have been sitting here for a while on my wish list. So the first one, I want a Fendi baguette bag so bad. And they release these in so many colors and styles. So this is ever changing. I do not have a set idea on what I would like. They have like a leather one that's all white that I think is beautiful and classic. But I also really like this one right now. This is my new favorite style and I'm changing which styles I like. I also really like the sequins. I just would never wear that. But this baguette is the pink FF canvas bag. And I like it in pink. This is about as colorful as I probably would go when it comes to spending money on at this price point. I mean, I feel like this is still a neutral pink, but I think this is just so adorable. I love that it says baguette with the leather strap, and I like how you have the Fendi all over it, but it's not super obnoxious, but it's just obnoxious enough. I'm not afraid of a logo, you guys. So <laughs> I like that. And I also just really love the fold over style of the baguette bags, just any bag in general. I'm always attracted to those. So this one is $32.90. So this one is up there in price. So I don't see it in my near future ever, but I think it is so pretty. The white one is also gorgeous as well. I love a white bag but I doubt that I could keep it um, clean. But the pink is my favorite run right now. I think this is such a pretty pattern and it's really fun. Okay, this one, so I'm showing you a brand new one, but I think if I were to purchase this, I would purchase it pre-loved because honestly, I think they have some vintage ones online that look gorgeous and they are like $2,000 cheaper. <laughs> but I am so intrigued right now by the Dior saddlebags. I love how different they are. Right now, I like the look of this warm taupe grained calfskin. I think this is really nice. 
but I am not sold on a leather bag. I like the fabric ones as well. This is a bag that I think if I were to get it, I would probably purchase it secondhand because you can just get better deals with Dior bags in general pre-loved, but I love how these look on the shoulder. I love the Christian Dior logo that you have. I love a logo. And the shape is so unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Anytime I see anybody wearing this bag, I'm like, you're a cool girl. And they come in a bajillion different patterns and colors. And if you are interested in this, look on those pre-loved sites because the vintage ones are so much cheaper you guys i'm telling you i've come this close so many times to purchasing one on the pre-loved market but yeah i think this is a gorgeous silhouette it's different i would like one and the very last bag this one is kind of my dream bag right more so the brand but if i were to get one I think it would be this one, but I don't know. There's just so many different styles. It's hard to choose, but I want a Chanel bag. And I don't think <laughs> this one is very far out of reach for me, but I love the look of the flat bag with a top handle. There's a few influencers that I follow that have this style of bag, and I just think it's so gorgeous. I love that you can wear it crossbody or you can wear it with just a top handle. This one in particular that I'm showing you the photo of, I, I don't love, but this is just what I could find on the Chanel website. The price of this is $6,300. Yeah, I'm not getting one anytime soon, but I think a Chanel bag like this is gorgeous. If I got a Chanel bag, it would either be in nude or the classic black with gold hardware, just because that is Chanel to me, the black with gold hardware. But I just want a Chanel bag, honestly. But right now, I've been the most attracted to the top handle ones. I don't know enough about Chanel to really fully be able to choose. I definitely need to make an appointment with somebody to decide, but I don't need to do my research now. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. But anyways, that is my current wish list for luxury handbags. Like I said, it honestly is ever-changing, and these are just kind of staples that I'm always keeping an eye out on, but I'm always looking on pre loved websites, and also, not that I do this ever, but going into store, it also is just different. I love going into a luxury store and not knowing what I want, and then letting the bag talk to me. It's only happened once, but it was a fun experience. I did not know I was going to end up with the Louis Vuitton Alma BB when I got it. I did not go in thinking that that was it. Okay, so I did forget one in this video that I wanted to mention. It's been on my list for a long time. I can't believe I forgot it, but I want the Chloe Woody Tote Medium. I think it's a pretty simple luxury piece. Honestly, it's on the more affordable side, <laughs> but I want this to be my laptop bag. I just think it is so cute. Cute. I love Chloe's branding and yes I mean I love my Marc Jacobs tote bag like that's you know I love my Marc Jacobs tote bag but I want to up it make it a little bit more luxury and the woody tote I think is just an adorable laptop bag and it's also good I think for travel it would be really cute you know on top of a suitcase but anyways this is one that I forgot and I definitely needed to give it a honorable bitch but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little different but in case my my husband wants to take notes. There's multiple functions to this video. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your dream handbags and what is on your list now. If you have any of the ones that I talked about, let me know your thoughts on them. I would love to hear. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.